Hey everyone, this is the Geeky Panda here yet again, giving you guys another video. I am continuing my dating advice video. This is the second part of my video. Now, as far as dating goes, one key thing about a date is one of my uh, one of my managers. I mean, not my manager. One of my supervisors at work told me that some to some people, ha some of them, it's easier to start a conversation to carry on a conversation. Others are it's easier to care. It is easier to carry on a conversation than to start one, you know, vice versa type thing. And what I'm what I'm trying to get at is that at everyone has this issue. You either have a hard time starting a conversation or a hard time carrying it on. Sometimes it's easy it's for me it's easier to carry on a conversation than to start one, but usually you know, when you're on a date, obviously you ask the questions of, you know, getting to know each other, favorite meals you like to eat, favorite place you like to hang out, all that stuff. But don't get, for a first date, don't ask anything too personal, like, are you still a virgin, you know, or asking about their sex life or anything like that. One of the key things is to avoid talking anything about your exes at all. It is a no-no. Shame on you for talking about that. Shame on you. Now... Again, when you're when you're talking to them, getting to know them, change up the conversation. If the conversation starts to go, you get that awkward silence. You know, you can talk about anything. You know, don't be like, oh, so how's the weather doing? You know, talk about what's going on. You know, you can you can be random. You know, you can be random. Just get the conversation talking. When the conversation starts going south, get them talking. Try to get, you know, change change the topic. You know, I can be like. Let's say we're at a cafe, co coffee shop. We're talking, getting to know each other. Co you know, things are starting to go, things are starting to go slow with the conversation. So now I'm going to be like, okay, okay, coffee shop. You know, like, oh, what is what is your favorite? You know, things you like. You know, favorite pastries you like to eat with your coffee, or you know, other you know, other than the coffee shop, what do you, what else do you like to eat? Don't go for it nowadays. Or you know, what's your favorite color? If it, this coffee shop's colorful, you know, but, you know, something talk, get them interested, get them going. The one of the things is that depending on how things are, if you're the one talking a lot, it's usually a no-no, very no-no. At, at the same time, if they're the one talking a lot, it, it not and you're not getting in your say, kinda gotta watch out for that too. You gotta make sure you get you get the your date engaged in the conversation and let them have their talk. Like try to figure out what they like and have them explain it to you, too. It's also, you got to know about body language and eye contact. Always train, always train their eyes. You know, train your eyes on them. You know, d when they're talking, especially, you know, eye con remain eye contact. Don't be distracted and all that stuff. And especially when you, you know, when you're talking to them, try to notice some things. Is she is, is she concentrated on you, or is she constantly looking away a lot? If she's constantly looking away or something like that, she's bored, she's generally not interested, this date might la not last that long. If she is looking at you, you know, concentra you know, concentrating to you, you know, you're you're in the clear. Like, eye contact, you know, definitely shows a lot, as well as body language, you know. Depending on what she does depends on how she's feeling. One other thing that, it, that I have to note is it is a very, very big no-no, is do not bring your cell phone out to text someone or check on something real quick unless you really need to, unless for emergencies for instance I only take my cell phone out just to check check the time real quick or let's say if we're gonna go to a movie and I just want to make sure what time the movie starts I'll go on my phone real quick check the movie that's it you are not allowed to take out your cell phone for any reason whatsoever unless it, you have to absolutely do it no replying back to a friend doesn't count Replying back to your family might count, but do it in a time where it's kind of like you just quick reply, like bam, you know, just you know, avoid the cell phones. Just you don't need them. That's it. So another thing is that again, this also comes to confidence as well. You know, always you know, always you know, look good. You know, smile. You know, don't give that creepy smile. You know what I'm talking about, guys. But eventually you're gonna think at a certain part of the dates or the date or first second date you're gonna start feeling comfortable with her right you know that's you know that's what first dates or interviews basically and anything after that you're just getting to know each other and just seeing how things go when as far as you know stuff touching a girl as far as holding hands and cuddling the first and foremost if things are going really well try you know just you know just try like uh, 
put your hand on them and just show them something and point it away. It's really hard to describe without me showing it to you guys, but generally the arm region of anyone is considered non-sexual at all. So you can, you know, lightly grab their arm and point them at the direction like, oh hey, you know, we can do this, or hey, we can do that, or it's just when you're touching a girl as far as holding hands and cuddling, don't half-ass it. It's think of it like a handshake. You don't wanna do a hover hand with cuddling someone or just a really weak cuddle, you know. At the same time, you don't want to be really strong. You just gotta find that nice, sweet spot. Same thing with holding hands. You don't want to just be that limp hand, you know, but you don't want to hold on too tight. So again, you know, just please, please make note of it. So, you know, be, res you know, be respectful to them as well. Very bit, you know, be respectful to them. They'll be respectful to you. Another thing is that for those who are not, you know, for those who can drive, I recommend, you know, picking them up or driving. If for those who can't drive, you know, we have we have to suck it up. Where the easiest way is just getting dropped off to a certain location, so you two don't have to avoid. You don't you can avoid you know embarrassing parent moments, or just you know just stick it up type thing. So other than that, I think we're pretty good so far. Just again, just try to get the, you know try to get the conversation going, get them engaged. Uh, notice body language, you know, don't half-ass it when you're getting more physical into the date as far as holding hands and cuddling goes, depending on, you know, what's going on, you know, just be yourself, be confident, I'll, there's gonna be another video where I'm gonna go over a bit more things, but again, I'm hoping these videos, videos help you guys out, and please don't tell me, oh, I've done these, but they never work, well, did you really do them, or did you just half-ass them, because that's the thing, you have to do it, you got to do it with confidence. So this is Geeky Panda here on the Geeky Panda blog. Sunny outs. I remember, stay geeky, my friends.